Disney presents your favorite fairy tales. I wish I was magic. I'd magically find a secret passage traveling through space and time to faraway places that I've only seen in stories. This is the story of the Little Red Hen. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Once upon a time, in a neat white house in the country, there lived a little red hen with her family of baby chicks. Near the little red hen, there also lived a cat. A goose and a pig. One bright summer day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat. How nice! She said to herself, "I will plant it, and soon it will grow into a fine stalk of grain." She asked the cat, "Will you help me plant the grain of wheat?" "Not I," said the cat. She asked the goose, "Will you help me plant the grain of wheat?" "Not I," said the goose. Then she asked the pig, "Will you help me plant the grain of wheat?" "Not I," said the pig. "Then I will do it myself," said the little red hen. She dug a small hole in the ground and planted the grain. Soon the little seed grew into a fine stalk of wheat. The little red hen knew that it was time to reap it. She turned to the cat, the goose, and the pig. "Who will help me reap the wheat?" she said. "Not I," said the cat. <laughs> "Not I," said the goose. "Not I," said the pig. "Then I will do it myself," said the little red hen. She took a large scythe and reaped the wheat. After the wheat was all gathered, it had to be ground. Who will help me carry the wheat to the mill? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. <laughs> Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the pig. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. She put the wheat in a basket, and she and her baby chicks set out on their way. When they reached the mill. The miller ground the wheat into flour. Then the little red hen took it all the way home again. When the little red hen returned, she and her baby chicks sat down to rest under a tree. The cat, the goose, and the pig were playing nearby. Who will help me make the flour into dough? She asked the animals. "Not I," said the cat. <laughs> "Not I," said the goose. "Not I," said the pig. "Then I will do it myself," said the little red hen. First, she heated some milk. Then she added some butter, sugar, salt, yeast, and the finely sifted flour. She kneaded the dough and placed it in an earthenware bowl to rise. Who will help me bake the bread? She asked the animals. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the pig. Then I will, said the little red hen. 
she made a roaring fire in the oven. And when it was just hot enough, she put the bread in to bake. As soon as the loaf was crusty and brown, the little red hen took it out of the oven and set it in the open window to cool. The animals outside the house noticed the delicious smell. They all gathered around. The little red hen came to the window. Who will help me eat the bread, she asked. I will, said the cat. I will, said the goose. I will, said the pig. And they all started for the house. The little red hen stopped them at the door. You did not plant the grain, she said. You did not reap it. You did not carry it to the mill. You did not make the flour into dough. You did not bake the bread. You shall not eat it. My baby chicks and I will eat the bread. And they did. That was the end of the story. If you would like to hear it again, turn the tape over.